This is Chippy at the Asus booth. We're looking at some new uh, netbooks here. And <coughs> the one that we're uh, interested in is this uh, 1015B. Now the 1015PN has been one of our favorite uh, netbooks in terms of high-powered netbooks with a good battery life and fairly lightweight, 1.25 kilos. That has the NVIDIA ION2 uh, platform inside. This one is the B version that goes for the uh, Brazos uh, platform. So this is Fusion uh, with the Intel, uh, sorry, with the ATI 6250 graphics in it. So this is going to bring you uh, equivalent sort of 3D power. Doesn't have that little kind of CUDA engine that the uh, 1215N has, but uh, processing power is going to be on par with something like the N550 anyway. So it'll be really interesting to see how this one performs against the 1215 PN. I don't think there's anything really special and new on this one, although they're talking about USB 3, of course, and uh, Bluetooth 3 plus HS. So this is the Hi-Fi Wi-Fi, Hi-Fi? High-speed Wi-Fi version of uh, Bluetooth 3, which uses the Wi-Fi to transfer files at high speed. So there's the Bluetooth 3 port there. That's the blue one. And pretty much everything else is going to be same specs. 1.28 kilograms comes with a three cell battery um, and they're saying 1.3 kilograms with the uh, six cell battery so that's an extra two, 200 uh, well actually that sounds a bit wrong I would say uh, a battery six cells is probably going to be more than just 30 grams more right or did I get the mathematics wrong so be interesting to do some testing on this one it might be better for gaming than the 1215 N and the processing power will be uh, just just as good and battery life well let's see they're talking about um, oh interestingly it comes with a C30 and a C50 option so C30 is the single core 1 gigahertz which is probably much lower than the uh, 1215PN that's the Atom N550 but the C50 version gives you seven and a half hours and it gives you the sort of N550 class processing as well so um, be interesting to see how that uh, how that looks